Hi guys. So when I was living in Germany, it was really hard to get a hold of the kind of brown sugar that you find typically in the US, what we might call light or dark brown sugar. Brown sugar does exist there, but it's closer to this turbinado style sugar which isn't exactly the same as what we typically use for baked goods and stuff like that. So what's the difference? Well, today I want to get into just that. What makes these sugars different? And in general, how is sugar made? So let's start with what the heck is sugar even? Well, sugar is kind of a general term for a bunch of different types of molecules that kind of all serve the same purpose. Typically, when saying sugar, we're referring to sucrose or this like granulated sugar. But the term is actually very general and can apply to other things such as fructose, maltose, lactose, and a bevy of other things that come from different types of plants or animals. Sugar is a carbohydrate and it's a really great way to store energy. In some plants like sugarcane or beets, the amount of sugar in the plant is pretty high. But maybe unsurprisingly, it's actually present to some degree in almost all plants. And apparently it's not even strictly limited to that. Apparently sugar in the form of ribose was discovered in a meteorite that was found in 2019. So in plants like sugarcane, date palm, sugar beets, and some other plants, the sugar concentration is high enough to make it worthwhile to go through the complicated process of extracting the sugar from the plant material. This process of getting this granulated sugar from the actual plant is known as sugar refining. Going through this process of refining sugar will help us give the answer to what exactly makes brown sugar brown and different from other types of sugar. The process starts by extracting the rich juice from the sugar cane or beets. And this is typically done by milling or boiling to dissolve the sugar. In any case, we're trying to extract the nectar from the actual plant material. Now the juice that comes from these plants is quite high in sugar concentration. For granulated sugar that we're used to seeing, at this stage the juice would be processed to remove the color by using carbon filtering along with some chemical processing. In brown sugar though, this process isn't performed, so the final sugar crystals will have kind of a brown tinge to them. So the next step in actually creating the sugar is to actually concentrate this juice down by boiling it. This evaporates the water and creates a solution that is very high in sugar concentration high enough to where the sugar will begin a process known as crystallization. The sugar molecules will begin to crystallize around the impurities, or you can also introduce seed crystals to start the process just by actually adding sugar in there. And the sugar crystals will grow like the little granulated grains we're used to seeing. However, these crystals will be kind of stuck in the syrup. So to filter out the sugar crystals from the sugar, a centrifuge is typically used, leaving mostly just the crystals. The leftover syrup is then fed back into another centrifuge and this process is repeated at least two more times, extracting as much sugar as possible from the syrup. What exactly is this syrup? Well, when we extracted the juice from the plant, we not only have the sugar, but we also have some other plant material as well. And in the process of increasing the sugar concentration, we've also concentrated these other components. Well, it turns out in the case where we used sugarcane as a source sugar, this leftover syrup turns out just to be molasses. And this really kind of gives us our answer to this question. The distinction between different types of brown sugar really comes down to how much molasses is left on the sugar crystals. Turbinado or demerara sugar are rinsed to wash off any surface molasses left on the surface of the grains. Light, dark, and muscovado brown sugar are just sugars with varying levels of residual molasses attached to it. So if you're ever in a bind and you need some brown sugar, you can always make some by mixing some granulated sugar with some molasses. Now this isn't to say that these differences aren't important. For anyone who's had molasses, it's a very, very strong flavor. And the presence of molasses also affects how the sugar melts and therefore how it behaves in things like candies. The residual plant material that make up the molasses prevent the sugar crystals from melting in kind of a traditional way and linking up in the way you can with a more purified sugar. I wanted to experimentally determine if these differences in sugar actually had an effect on baked goods. So I decided to use a recipe for chocolate chip cookies, sans the chocolate chips, for the four different types of sugar I've talked about in this video. Granulated sugar, demerara sugar, granulated sugar with molasses and brown sugar, with all other ingredients in the recipe being measured out the same value. Now this experiment sort of worked, uh, but one, I really, really, really suck at making cookies, which is why you've never seen a cookie video on this site before. And two, the differences were very subtle. I actually repeated this experiment several times, so I'm only gonna note the differences that held for multiple experiments. For some reason, the granulated sugar cookies spread more, but I'm not really sure if that's because of the sugar or something I did when I was actually making the, the cookie. However, one thing that was interesting was the demerara sugar had a granulated sugary crunch within the cooked cookie, whereas the rest of them did not, almost like little pieces of toffee. And also, both the molasses and brown sugar cookies had kind of a deeper flavor. The molasses definitely adds something. Anyways, just like all the other experiments my actual scientific career is built on, I don't think we can say anything definitive and I actually invite you to perform this delicious experiment at home and let me know what you find. Well, that's basically it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of weird short video. And if you did, please consider subscribing or even also just sharing this video. All right, see you guys later.